Welcome to Bates Wharf Marine Sims, where we're the UK dealer for Fairline Yachts. And today we'd like to show you around this our gorgeous Squadron 53. Um, she is a stock boat, she's available for sale. So we just start on the platform. We've got this nice big wide platform, uh, able to take a Williams 325. Um, plenty of room inside here so we can offset the Williams. With the Williams going to this side. And then as we turn around, we've got the press around under the top stairs, so probably in the Peter Williams. The platform is all the way down, uh, it's got a 400 kilo um, lift capacity. Um, let's show you around this boat. So we'll move on to the squadron. Uh, we'll just stay with the platform for a moment. As we can see, got this really nice pillow little seat for the stand. Lift up flap here. Now we've got your shower controls and your platform controls which also have the remote control. Take a walk up onto the boat. Nice big entry into the boat, nice big wide side decks uh, going forward. We spec this for film med specification so she's got the uh, mooring capstans on the stern here. Um, and then down below there you've got your uh, passerelle controls and also your lights. Big cleat on the stern of the boat, take a step back, cleat in through the side here so your leads run nicely, not chafing on the boat. Real sort of big boat feel about her. Huge big L shaped seat there, really, really big L shaped seat, lots and lots of space. It's moving back round. This is all storage under these seats, um, so you get plenty of room for all your fenders and lines when you're not using them. This is our engine access here. Okay, so down the stairs into the engine room, almost full standing head height. Um, big generator at the stern there. Uh, just above it is the main breaker panel. Spin around the engine room. This boat's powered by the Volvo D11 725s. Excellent access, you can get right down both sides of the engine, both engines. Strainers at the front there. Uh, bow thruster, stand thruster controls. Pan back round. Entry down through the back corner there. Um, that lets you get at your HB platform control. It also lets you get access round um, to your stern gear, which is located just behind the, uh, the crew cabin. So plenty of room in this engine room, lots and lots of space. Everything's right where you want it. So as discussed, this boat has got the crew cabin. So access through to the crew cabin under this back seat. This one's not actually fitted out as a crew cabin, but basically a single berth and then access. If it was fitted out, we'd have a little shower down there as well. Most customers use this as, as storage on a boat of this size. So as we walk from the cockpit through into the saloon, nice big stainless steel, really, really wide patio door. And then we've got this beautiful saloon area. The essential leather sofas, uh, that's mirrored through the boat. We've gone high gloss walnut with a dove gray flooring. Extended seating here on the sofa. Coming forward, you see the high gloss walnut there um, with this beautifully illuminated drinks cabinet and some storage areas beside it. Looking forward, another little sort of seating area up here. Um, but one thing you really notice is this the light in this saloon. These huge great big windows um, which have got the blinds. We've got all the surround sound, the Harman Kardon surround sound speaker system. Um, our TV pops up from behind the, the headboard here. So walking forward, some extra lights with a skylight up the top here. It's a bit more lighting above the helm. That's got the blinds that close it off. And then the helm itself, nicely laid out, very well ergonomically designed. Everything's where you want it to be. The wheel nearer the middle, um, so that from behind the helm seat, you've got excellent vision through the windshield. Nice big high window. Um, we've got the bow and stand thrusters on this boat. 
um, with a pin facility so you can hold hold the boat in place if you're single-handed maneuvering nice big Garmin GPS plotter really nicely laid out position passenger seat from navigator point of view is right in front of the plotter um, and the VHF radio is just tucked in the corner there so we'll walk down the stairs nice and easy to get to and then this is our galley area here it's a nice big usable galley lots of space again just take a step back and show you above no roof on the galley so really really nice lighting nice and light and airy really well equipped galley instantly see four burner hob there and we'll just open the door here we've got the combination oven and we've got the uh, dishwasher fitted to this boat spinning around the galley one of the particular features of this boat um, and certainly of all the, the Fairline cruisers is this nice big American style fridge freezer so just opening the door nice big fridge and then the, the freezer so plenty of space for all your food and drinks again lots and lots of storage um, as always Beautifully appointed cutlery drawer. And then further locker space below. More locker space below the sink. Again, just up above, some nice big deep cupboards. Middle one here is fixed because that's your extractor. And then we've got all of our crockery hidden away here nice and nice and neatly. Lots of storage. So below the galley itself, a couple of lockers there for all your sort of canned tins, bits and pieces. As we wander uh, towards the owner's cabin, just in the hallway here, still in the galley area, we've got the washer dryer fitted. So we'll take a walk into the owner's cabin it's a full beam midship owner's cabin nice big queen size berth there again big windows lots of light full head height um, through the boat window on this side we've opted for the optional sofa uh, on this particular boat if we just pan around again You've seen you've got the nice sort of sideboard area there with all your all your storage drawers there. Um, further storage is under the bed. And then we have full size hanging locker, illuminated hanging locker. And as this is a new boat, that's all the owner's packs and bits and pieces ready for handover. Full AV fitted. So the TV in the bulkhead there. And then we've got this really nice dressing table here. Um, little leather stool below. Walking further around the owner's cabin. We'll close the entry door. And then this is our ensuite. So we've got a nice tabletop sink. And then the head. And like majority of the Fairline models has got the hinge over the head um, simply so that you've got more sort of space hinges up and locks into position and then we've got the, the storage above two nice big storage lockers on the boat and then we've got the full size shower it's a nice big full size shower little shelf in there as well again shower door drains back into the shower cubicle itself as opposed to sort of getting your uh, your head floor wet and 
and full size mirror on the door there and you see again plenty of head height on the boat this is actually the lowest point of the of the ceiling and I'm 6'2 and we can see our way around there so we'll come back out the owner's cabin go through the galley and we'll go up into the guest VIP cabin and we've opted for the island berth in here it's a nice big island berth again full head height big side windows lots of space lots of room Again, we've got the full AV pack on the boat. And another big, another big illuminated hanging locker. And just up beside the bed there, get your aircon control. So big generator on this boat. All the cabins have individual aircon. Um, we can basically have one area at a time you don't have to have all your aircon through the boat you can sort of set zones on it each cabin again has its own stereo so we've got the fusion system through here and the fusion systems are individual so again you can have each style of music in each different area and just beside it there lots of charging points and hdmi so any cabin that's got a uh, TV in it has an HDMI that you can plug straight in you don't have to try and get behind the TV open the door here and we're into our day head which is a Jack and Jill day head again tabletop sink extractor fan controls further storage above in the day head as we spin round again full size shower cubicle with a little shelf in there and then the head this sort of Jack and Jill's um, as your day head um, with en suite for the forward cabin so we step back out of the day head and into the main saloon and wander round into our third cabin our guest cabin and it's the twin guest cabin setup Again, nicely appointed, big, big window. Again, aircon controls down beside the bed. As we spin round, another mirror on the back of the door. TV. And then again, further good storage with another full size hanging locker. So really, really nice finish on the boat. Let's just go back into the galley to explain a little about our woodwork. So we green match all of our woodwork, as you can see, if I step out of the way, so there's not sort of confusion there. The green is matched from panel to panel, all the way through the boat. We don't use random grain patterns. We match our paneling all the way through. So that gives you a little idea of the detail um, and the finish that's in the fair line. All of this high gloss panel um, is individually lacquered. It's done by hand. It's an eight day process. Um, basically you have three coats of lacquer um, and then you have it flatted back, re-lacquered and back into the oven. And they repeat that three times so that we get the perfect finish. Again, just back up into the saloon. So I'll take this and we'll go up onto the flybridge now. Again, huge big cockpit. Great massive seating area here and a cockpit with a seat, seating that extends back round into the saloon. The table here drops 
and that table makes up into uh, an infill area so that you can have another lounging space. Those backrests are floating um, so that you can move those forwards uh, when sitting around the table or basically you can have them right back there as the sun pad. Back round onto our feature staircase. And basically Fairline have made this a lovely stainless steel uh, staircase with the floating teak steps which are illuminated. And then up onto our flybridge. Again, we've always had big, big flybridge space uh, on all of the Fairline squadrons. We just have a pan round. Nice big U-shaped seating area, huge big seating area there. Then we've got the wet bar. Also this big lo lounging area forward. And the helm, the helm's actually a carbon copy of the lower helm. So everything's as it, as it would be on the lower helm position. Nice and easy boat to drive, nice and easy to get round. Twin helm chairs here um, on this floating box which moves backwards and forwards um, so that you can get your perfect driving position. Okay, we'll get the wet bar open and uh, show you a few other little tricks. So this is our wet bar on the Squadron 53. We've got a double hinge up here uh, with a little pop-up tap for your sink. And then two opening doors. So in the opening doors we've got our ice maker and also our fridge for the flybridge. And then just moving forwards, we've got this sort of third forward facing seat so instead of this just being a sort of a sun pad area you can bring this back rest up so that you've got another forward facing seat as you go up so just make a way forwards in the flybridge and we'll just have a look over onto the bow of the boat you'll notice that we've got no deflector screen uh, stuck up on top that's because that's actually built in and we use it as part of the styling um, so we haven't got a big lump of perspex you can just see the edge of it there but looking over the bow you'll notice that we've got a portuguese style bow so walkway entrance in right from the uh, bow of the boat um, up through haven't got the cushions on there but you'd have a nice big u-shaped cushion arrangement with a fold out table um, so instead of just having a couple of flat cushions you've actually got some more picnicking space up on the bow we just spin round what we'll do is we'll make our way up to the bow so Again, this staircase, nice big open plan staircase, nice and easy to get down. Wandering down here with no problem at all whilst holding the camera. So just make your way up onto the side deck. Nice big wide side deck, nice big high handrails, plenty of handholds up at the top. Wander up along. Let's just take a moment to look down. You see feet are side by side. Gives you an indication of how wide these decks are. Makes it nice and easy to get up to the bow of the boat. So we are beside the road today, see so a little bit of road noise. As we say, we'll get round to the front. And then we've got this Portuguese seating. Cushions aren't on today, but you'd normally, as I say, have a big, nice big U-shaped seating area here, um, which has got a cover, so you can leave those in situ as you're using the boat through the season. And uh, I'd like to just demonstrate the table. So that's a little picnic table folded out. And just have a look up. It gives you an idea of the, the size. A lot of people sort of shy away from this boat saying they want a boat around about 60 feet. But when you actually have a look through the boat, you'll feel that she's a lot bigger than her 53 foot would lead you to believe. So thanks for taking the time to look around our uh, stock Squadron 53 here. She is available. Um, please don't hesitate to email us for a full specification or get in contact with us here in the Swanwick office. Um, thank you very much for taking the time. Take care. Bye-bye.